Hi guys, Lee Meyer from Nemo Racing here again. So today I'm going to do a quick video showing you all the Agama A319. Uh, it's a kit that's got a lot of interest and uh, we've run it for a little while, about six months now, or at least, you know, me since since January time. And uh, I thought I'd give you a little rundown on everything that comes in the kit and uh, the quality of all the products. So first, here she is. Here's my car. It's uh, it's well used and tested, so it's not brand new. So it's a little bit dirty, a little bit, you know, is what it is. Um, so this is basically everything that comes in a kit with a few option parts. Um, so first of all, we'll talk about the quality of the product. You know, the, the plastics, the materials, all the metal parts are 7075, the highest grade aluminium that we could get from the factory. Um, all the plastic parts are very durable. Um, you can get two different types of front arms. One's the soft one and one's the hard one. Soft comes in the kit. I mean, you'll never really ever break them. Um, sometimes they're a bit too soft in warmer conditions. So we've done a hard as well. Um, all the bearings throughout the car are good. Uh, all the, I mean, the driveline wear is, is super. It's, you know, this, this car's done quite a lot of running now and it's very hard to see anywhere on the out drives or the drive shaft pins. Even in the center where you'd normally experience high amounts of wear, you don't see much at all. So that's awesome. It means you can just run the car, run it, run it, run it, and not have to worry about replacing parts every other week. Comes with aluminum shock towels in the kit. Nice diamond cut edge. Awesome. You can see, you can see here. Nice diamond cut edges on them. Uh, it comes with this wicked carbon fiber, extremely low radio tray i mean you can see almost half the servo above the actual radio tray there this helps to keep the center of gravity down uh, it's also really nice to fit and it's uh, a really quality product in there brakes are typical of, of most buggies these days these are very good and very easy to set up all the linkages are nice and straight you don't get any of that binding on, on other cars that you used to get if they weren't like perfectly set up you know, all, this, all the links are nice and straight. The servo link's nice and easy, super easy to get to. Even all of your um, camber links and stuff, they all run in line, basically with drive shafts. You don't have any funky angles, which can cause a negative effect. Chassis, quite wide. It's, uh, it's a nice chassis. I say this one, I've never had a spare. This has been on the car the whole time uh, and it's still got I have a lot of meat left on it so she can keep on running, keep on running. In the kit, it comes with a double um, rear shock tower brace. I've only got one in there at the moment. Last time I tested, that was my preferred option. But it comes with two, a short one, long one, and you can run them both together. So ease of maintenance. As I said, the kit quality is really high uh, of all the products. So, you know, replacing worn out parts is very few and far between. Um, it's pretty easy to access the diffs. It's only a few screws. It's, it's not as hard as some cars um, used to be or whatever. So it's easy to get the diffs out. Um, and they have a double bearing system, which um, not many people have probably seen. It's, it's probably the only one of the only cars with it, as far as I'm aware. So each bearing has four bearings on there. One that holds the actual case and one that houses the outdrive. And what this does is it make it super strong through the, through the actual diff mount means it doesn't wear out gears because you don't get much flex in there. Supports the outdrive so you don't get loads of outdrive wobble. Very nice bit of kit. Very nice bit of kit. So you'll find the gears last forever and a couple of days more. Caster blocks. In the front they come standard as plastic. As I did a video the other day, we do upgrade to um, aluminium. It's not because the plastics are weak, it's just for more tuning options. Um, Clutch engine assembly. It comes with a standard free shoe clutch, typical in, in nitro buggy. Um, Beta do do an option for a four shoe. Normally we use a free shoe one. It's always good, it's very reliable. So cambling, arm positions, everything's changeable, multi-directional. Your cambling's in the back can go inside, outside, up, down. In the front you can go inside, outside on the castle block, up, down in the, in the, in the center of the car here. You have your arm pills, which are multi-directional. You know, you can have them in each corner, you can have them in the middle, you can move half degrees or full degrees. Very effective, you can also color code if you want. 
Shock package, these are the biggest shocks on the market. They are 17 mil big bore shocks, unlike your conventional 16 mil. So you get that extra bit of oil displacement and you get much better bump handling and jump and landing, really much better feel. Uh, the shocks are very impressive. We worked on them quite a bit and it's amazing what you can make them do and still uh, still land over big jumps and bumps and stuff. So also very good. We always use our own product, our own springs and stuff. We don't go looking elsewhere for different products there. So um, rear wing, it comes with uh, an Agama wing in the box. I always upgrade to a beta wing or an LMR Lexan wing when it's out. Um, just nice feeling. I also, you can trim the back and stuff. So if you've got too much downforce, you can trim the back off and you can kind of do what you want with it. Steering, C-Hub, in my opinion, still the best type of steering you can get. There you go, you can see her there. There she is. So I did a video the other day about the body shell. This is your kit body. It's on the car normally. It's a nice body, nice low profile. It's uh, it's quite a pretty body. You know, it's not, not big and ugly and when it's on the car, it looks nice and sleek. Uh, and then also we do the A319E body, which will go on um, like we showed the other day. So you have two very nice options. This one doesn't have quite as much steering as the other one, but it's very easy to drive. So there you go. So and with all of these different tuning options, uh, you can fine tune your car to be exactly as you want it. So if you want it to be steering a lot and you want it to come through the turn really hard and then accelerate fast out of the turn, kind of like I do, you can get it. You can make it do it. If you want the car to be a little bit lazy and you want to be on the throttle a lot more and you want to be able to give it death really, a little bit like um, Nemo Racing's John Hazelwood, you can get it to do that too. So basically you can set this car up to be anything you want it to be. And of course with Nemo Racing, we're always there to support you and help you to get it to where you want it to be. So if you're looking for a car for this year when we can finally go racing or the next years, I advise you go and try one out. Ask a friend to borrow one, purchase one. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fast, I think, for you, as well as it is for me. So, Sky approves, don't you Sky? Yes. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you click like, and turn your notifications on. You can be notified when we post a new video. Thanks for watching. Lee Martin, Lee Racing.